What is going on guys, my name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and we are back again with our Hata VGC series where we hop on Battle Spot Doubles and we try to learn as much about this metagame as possible. Um, I have built a new team as you guys saw in the team builder, if not, uh, you can go back and watch that. Uh, don't really have to, to enjoy this, but if you want to just get an idea of why we have what we have, uh, there's the explanation there. So, uh, wh I did change one thing. I changed uh, Flare Blitz on Infernape to Overheat, so now we have uh, Overheat, so it's a mixed Infernape. Um, basically, uh, just I just didn't, I just bumped up. I was just like, oh, why do I have a Focus Sash on this thing if it has Flare Blitz? It just doesn't make sense. So, uh, we're going to hit Challenge. And uh, currently, I did like a couple practice battles. I got one win and I got one loss, so it dropped my rating down two points. So we're sitting at uh, fourteen uh, ninety-eight right now. So I mean, not too, not too great at all. Uh, there was at a time where this team, like before, uh, like when I was practicing with it without really recording, I, it almost it got me to like sixteen hundred, uh, and then the re the ratings reset. Uh, so it's a little disappointing about that, I guess, but, I mean, what can I really do? There's not much I can do about that. Uh, it's taking its time searching for an opposing trainer. What is, what's going on here? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we got Aiden uh, with the 1595, so he's pretty good. Bulbasaur OP. Okay. So I think we might see us... Uh, Let's see. We just need to see what is the strongest lead that we could possibly have on this team. Um, Greninja. Greninja just takes care of like so many Pokemon on my uh, opponent's side of the field. Uh, we're also going to bring. I. Th I think we bring Ferrothorn. I think we bring Ferrothorn. Uh, I think we bring Infernape. And, uh. I want to bring Altaria for that Salamence. But at the same time, I don't think it matters. We could bring the Meowstic. But I don't know if that. If, I don't know. Because, uh. The Tyranitar could just go for a Crunch and kind of just. Just gonna destroy me. Um, Thunderous has the Focus Blast and the Thunderbolt, and that's fine because I can just hit everyone with you know neutral damage at least, and we're super effective. So Focus Blast will hit those two. Yeah, let's go Thunderous because Thunderous has the Taunt, and uh, that's that's good. We're gonna go with that. Uh, very, very, uh, I'd say mostly offensive, I s maybe besides from the Ferrothorn, which is really just a weak seed solar. So Tyranitar and Excadrill, I s I've seen this, this combo before, and, uh, I wonder if I battled this guy, like, recently, because, uh, I just faced, like, a very, very, like, similar... Thing and this is where the uh, I believe uh, the I think they're gonna double protect here. Um, I have a feeling like they're gonna try to double protect. Uh, I'm gonna go for a hydro pump onto the Excadrill, and I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed on the Tyranitar slot. But I believe I think they're just gonna try to double protect here. Excadrill is just gonna go for the Rock Slide. Okay. Critical hit on the Ferrothorn. Greninja flinched. Greninja flinched. We're fully physically defensive. We can eat one. What the hell? Is that? Is that a choice scarf? Cause I mean he shouldn't have gotten the sand like the like the, the, the boost from the sand, like the the speed boost. There's no way. Uh, I feel like they're gonna just try to. I feel like they're just gonna try doubling up again. I don't see why they they don't have a reason not to. Let's go for a protect, and let's go for another protect. Let's just double protect here. 
Because I feel like they were gonna they would try to double up onto the uh, the Greninja for some reason. I, but I, I couldn't tell you what they're gonna do. They might just try to do the same thing. Because uh, considering that thing outspeeds, yeah. Let's see. So he goes for the superpower onto the gr uh, the Greninja. So. Ferrothorn's back at f half. Uh, we're gonna go for a Hydro Pump on the Excadrill. Uh, and I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed. Or do I wanna predict him to try to do something else uh, and switch out? But I can't really do that, can I? I have to go for a Leech Seed on the Excadrill. The Excadrill can just, just can seriously just take away everything. Uh, I live on three, and we're gonna die to a uh, life orb. But I think after that excadr is that focus ash? How did he outspeed me? Is it because the sand was already there? I don't know. Ah oh, man, I don't know. I'm I'm sad. I'm living sad life right now. So hopefully we can kind of clean up, because I think that thing is scarfed in some way. I mean, not scarfed. I feel like it's oh, man. We're gonna have to go for uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to just go for like a fake out on one of these guys. Uh, I think we can go for a fake out on the Excadrill, take it out, and then we can go for a Thunderbolt should take him out. Let's go for a Thunderbolt on the Tyranitar. Thunderbolt should definitely take him out. So Fake Out is going to come through and it's going to take out the Excadrill, obviously because it's on only 1 HP. Uh, and then Thunderbolt is going to come through on Tyranitar, and we are going to pick up the kill. So now it's 2-2. Both are at f almost full health. We're going to get damaged by the uh, Sandstorm and break our Sash on our Infernape. Uh, but we're just going to get it right back with the leftovers. So, I mean, you only have two Pokemon, dude. Uh, just bring them out. What is taking so long? Okay, so Salamence and Porygon 2. Welp. That's kind of a good game for me, then. I need to get rid of this, uh, Salamence, like, right away. Man, I need to get rid of the Salamence. I gotta go for a Thunder Punch on him, and I think I have to go for a Thunderbolt. So I'm gonna go for a Thunder Punch, Thunder Bolt. Don't think it's gonna take him out, uh, honestly, even if I double up on him. I believe that my, uh, I believe I'm faster than uh, him at the moment, uh, unless he decides to protect. So we're going to go for Thunder Punch, uh, and it does nothing. Uh, we're going to go for Thunderbolt, and it does nothing. And he's going to go for the Hyper Voice, and that's definitely going to take out my uh, Infernape. And I'm pretty sure he's going to go just for Ice Beam and take me out. Yep, that's a good game. Damn. The loss was too real. The loss was too real. So sand teams, man. Sand teams just completely just destroy my life. Um Alright, well we you know, we take things away from our losses. We move on. Uh we're not gonna save that battle. 
Uh, and we're just gonna go and continue battling. We're gonna get one more battle in. Uh, really sucks to lose. I hate losing with a passion. But it's all good. I think we're gonna bring screens. Let's try to bring in screens if we can. So we're we're, we're going against Alcer. Hola, qué tal? The fifteen hundred rating, and he has. Uh, he has the Sylveon, the Clefairy, the Weavile, Kinkelder. A uh, very physically based team. Uh, I think what I want to do is I want to go... I want to lead Greninja, because I have two things that just totally just want gunk to be gunk-shotted. Uh, that Sylveon and Clefairy do not appreciate the gunk-shot. Uh, Ice Beam for the uh, guard chomp now what how now the question is how am I gonna get rid of I have to get rid I think I have to bring Altaria here uh, I bring Altaria but do I bring it in the back or do I believe it bring it out front because if he if because uh, he could lead Weavile and like Sizzler and just you know, totally mess me up. Um, I'm gonna bring Ferrothorn. Because I feel like that's a decent matchup against the Scizor. And I, I mean, I'm fully physically defensive. Uh, and if I bring screens here too, I think I'm set. Cause I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm set. Man, this is. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't know. This is this is very 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 difficult for me. So we see that he's issuing the challenge, Greninja and Altaria, and I, let's see, what are we going to see? Weavile and Garchomp. So protect, uh, he might protect Fake Out, he might Fake Out the, I feel like he would try to Fake Out the Greninja. I'm gonna protect Greninja, and I'm just gonna go for a Hyper Voice, because that's super effective on both of them. And uh, I should be able to live one Ice type move. Because uh, I could, I could have just gone for an Ice Beam and totally taken out the uh, the Guard Chomp there, but. Let's see. So Greninja is going to protect, and he goes for the rock slide. Uh, so depending on if not he gets a flinch, this was worth it. I if I don't get flinched, why am I always getting flinched? Why am I always getting freaking flinched? I'm going for the ice beam here, and I'm just going to go for a. I want to go for protect. I don't think he's going to attack my alt. I, I think he's going to try to attack my Altaria now with like an ice type move. And Greninja's going to go for the ice beam here. And maybe we'll bring this thing down to its sash or no, he's he's yeah, he's dying. He's dying. You're dead. So Garchomp goes down here. Um, and he brings out the scissor. Now, now, what do I do here? Uh, I think what I could do is I can, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hydro. I'm gonna hydro pump the scissor, and I'm gonna switch out into the ferrothorn. 
because uh, I feel like he's going to try to double up on that. So let's see. Scissor, scissor right. If he goes, oh my god, if he goes, uh, if he goes for the swords dance, man, I don't know if I could beat him. Oh, he goes for the freak protect. He goes for the icicle crash. I don't know. Does he get damaged physically? Like, does is that gonna hurt him? I don't know if it makes contact or not. Scissor protects itself. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go for the hydro pump again, no matter what. Um, and I'm gonna go. F I'm gonna click gyro ball on the Weavile, because I'm pretty sure it Oko's. He goes with a low kick. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, we're good. Definitely, we're definitely Oko'ing this thing. Uh, not so, not so sure about the Scizor, because Scizor can be a little bit bulky, but, uh, this man's greedy. This man is greedy! The greed is real. Well, right now I have two Pokemon that could take. I, I can take care of this, but I just don't know what's the right move. Uh, he might try to go for another Swords Dance. I'm gonna click Gunshot on Clefairy, I think. I think I'm gonna click Gunshot on Clefairy. And then I'm gonna just click uh, Leech Seed on the Ferrothorn. I mean, on the, on the, uh, I'm gonna click Leech Seed onto the, uh, onto the Scizor. So, we're, we, we will almost take that thing out, and I get a poison! I get a nice poison, and he's probably gonna go for, he's gonna go for a Bug Bite. And that's gonna Oko, okay, even though it's not very effective. Uh, that's fine. All I have to do here is just go for, uh, because I'm pretty sure that I can still beat him. Uh, I'm going to send out my Meow Stick. And I don't know if I should play, I'm going to play, I'm going to play, I don't know if I should go for Reflect or if I should go for Swagger. I think we go for Reflect. We're gonna go for Reflect and then I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed on the Scizor. Okay. So he's gonna protect the Scout, uh, which is a pretty good, uh, you know. So it's pretty good that I just decided to uh, go for the Reflect. Um, So what I could do now is I can go for the swagger, and then I can go for a lead seat again. Uh, I don't usually like going for the uh, swagger on physical attackers because if he breaks through confusion, uh, it's he's gonna do massive damage. But if he hits himself, he's gonna take himself out. Alrighty. So we did win game two. Um, which is nice. Uh, I mean, of course it was because of hacks, but I mean, it's Swagger. It's, it's what we do. Uh, that's what Swagger is for. Uh, so, if you guys made it this far, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that like button down below if you enjoyed. Uh, and, you know, leave some comments down below. I do appreciate any feedback. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.